coming on to do a reading for the collective. It's just going to be a general energy check-in, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation if it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you, okay? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading, okay? Okay, spirit. What is the energy around this reading? Okay, there could have been somebody that came in and helped you start some sort of new beginning that was really fulfilling. You may look at this person as some sort of guardian. Um, they may have taken you out of a place where you were stuck in your head and um, you felt really like isolated or you felt like you were really on your own. Um, this could have been a really big transition for you out of a time where there may have been um, a place where... You had lost a lot, maybe had to let go of a lot of things from your past or walk away from a lot of things from your past and there could have been somebody that came in and kind of helped you come out from a spot where you could have been at a really low point in your life and they helped you come into um, a very, I feel like, emotionally fulfilling new beginning but also I feel like this was a um, an opening to a new start that was going to like create a brand new type of cycle for you that you had not experienced um, at least in this life before okay so I feel like that is the energy around the reading So I feel like with this new start that came in for you, um, you're able to pull in a lot of resources that um, brought in a, like, a large form of stability that maybe brought you into uh, fulfillment when it came to a situation around a home, um, if you're raising kids or if you have a family or if you're just on your own. I feel like there was some sort of connection that you found that um, you were able to feed into yourself or you were able to learn how to focus on yourself enough to kind of learn about the idea of self-love, about your feeding into your own needs, about nourishing yourself before giving to others. And um, I feel like that was gave you like the ability to focus on um focus on others because you were able to learn to put that kind of focus into yourself which could have led you into other options or opportunities um in your life because of the um i feel like mastery that you gained around um could have been like being really detail oriented or learning to pay close attention to 
Um, I feel like paying close attention to having goals or setting goals for yourself or being able to complete um, things that you had uh, wanted to accomplish for yourself and not giving up when you put your mind to something and move like if you chose to move towards something or move forward towards something I feel like you weren't defeated in doing that or you learned how to keep moving forward even if you did feel defeated you or like felt like there was like aggression or um, anger coming towards you for some reason I felt you like you were still able to focus on love or self-love or the idea of unconditional love over anger or over hostility or aggression and focus on love and happiness and you were able to move forward and that could have um, helped you come into these opportunities and options that are are and I think are coming in um, as possibilities for you to come into like creative opportunities or um, options. So I feel like there could be new creative ideas or creative projects or passions coming in quickly. Um, and I do feel like this is something you may be moving towards quickly as opportunities that are showing themselves as available to you. And I do think this has come from you learning how to be very focused or put a lot of time into being able to focus on not only yourself, but um, being really grounded in um, the present moment and having a um, practical or practical sense when it comes to like the idea of the physical world and not being um not being kind of lost in not being lost in the I, I don't feel like you're somebody that's lost in maybe the overindulgence that the world can tie you into I feel like with with the magician and the knight of pentacles not like the ace of pentacles or like the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is somebody that does have resources but is very grounded in the idea of um, practicality when it comes to the resources that they use. So this is, could be somebody that um, has like the ability to um, indulge but chooses to like use coupons or chooses to like save or chooses to like um, spend like practically even though they could, um, they could, they could not do that so I feel like this these opportunities come into you because you are somebody that has a practical sense of the world and I feel like that all opens up a lot of opportunities for you um you may right now have be having to block out things that are not in alignment with um the options or the dreams that you are um focused on there may be um things that are trying to bind themselves to you or connect themselves to you that are trying to block you from your opportunities or from things that are that are in alignment with your um with your creative process moving forward or that want to cause some sort of defeat around your overall fulfillment but I feel like um there is this disinterest in I feel like even looking at those type of things or showing an interest in those type of things I feel like those situations you're choosing to block out yourself or choosing not to focus on when it comes to any type of um I feel like toxic behaviors or even toxic like uh, like um, addictions or things that you can get tied into that will have you kind of come off your path of being fulfilled with um, the, the, I feel like the opportunities that are going to bring you into forward movement. I feel like you are in a place of stability when it comes to your emotions and are choosing to bring in a sense of balance again when it comes to being really practical I feel like you're 
practical in the sense of having a lot of emotional maturity but again like also practical in the sense of just having a practical viewpoint of the physical world and I do think this brings you into a balance when it comes to being fulfilled or in overall fulfillment.